loves you are welcome to my channel and today i'm going to share with you how to cut and sew an off shoulder with cape so let's get started first thing is to fold your fabric and to do this you divide the widest part of your measurement which is usually the bust by four and then you add four extra inches to that measurement So the leftover of the material will be used for the cape. Alright, so the next thing now is to take note of your half length measurement. Okay, so the one I'm using is 17 and half and I'm going to add half inch to that. So that will be 18. Now this is an off shoulder. So you need to take few inches off the half length. So I'm going to take off four and a half and that will be 13 and half. And I'll use that to cut my fabric. But whilst cutting, I like to leave a little inch, about one inch above the actual measurement. Okay, so you can see that. So I'll go ahead and mark the 13 and a half throughout the fabric. Now we are going to start the measurement from four and a half because that is what I took off from the half length. Okay, so from there, I'll mark my shoulder to chest, shoulder to nipple, shoulder to under bust, and then we have our half length already. So I'll do this and mark it across. So this is what we have. And I'm going to mark this at the other part that's going to serve as the back. So the next thing to use is the bust pan or the nipple to nipple measurement. So I'm working with eight inches and i'm going to divide that eight inches into two that will be four okay and we now need half an inch to join both sides of the front bodies so we need about half an inch to do that so i'm going to add half inch to that four inches making four and half and this i'll use to mark from the center like this i'll mark the same thing on the underpass as well as the nipple point and i'll put that to a straight line okay the next thing now is to mark one inch up one inch down from the nipple point just as shown so we are going to take a dart intake of two inches so i do this half inch towards the center and one and a half towards the side of the bodies i'll mark the same thing on the under bust And afterwards, from the one inch down on the nipple point, that's from the nipple point, I'm going to now connect it to the under bust. Now, we used four inches for the bust pan, four and a half inches for the bust pan. So, the next thing is to add one inch to that measurement. That's four and a half, so plus one, five and a half. So, I'll mark this. On the starting line like this and then I'll connect that point to the one inch up at this side we are going to take a dart intake of one inch on both sides so I'll go ahead and do that and now we connect from that point to the one inch down like this on each point so most at times along the dart area the upper part there is there is usually a shortage okay so i'm going to measure the dots like this from that point so here i have 4.6 and i'm going to mark like this i have 4.9 almost 5 inches so i'm going to cover up for the shortage there then connect it to the center of the front like this. This way there will be no shortage whilst joining. Okay, very important. The next thing now is to take note of our shoulder measurement. So I'm working with a shoulder measurement of 15 and I'm going to divide that into two. Then afterwards, I subtract two inches from the result. So here I have five and a half. I'm going to mark that five and a half here and i'll replace the two inches that intake right after the five and a half and afterwards we will add 
one inch to the measurement that has to join the two sides to get a half inch on both sides okay so that is it on the bust point on the chest point quarter of the bust and then i'm going to replace that little that other area i'm going to replace that and add one inch for joining allowance and then two inches for sewing allowance i don't have this person's under bus round under bus measurement so i'm going to leave the under bus and focus on the half length so quarter of the half length will be placed along the half length like this you will replace the two inches that intake add one inch for joining allowance and two inches for sewing allowance now whatever measurement i have at the half length area i'm going to do that half inch from that measurement to, and then i'll mark it on the under bust then i'll connect them together now from the last point on the starting line we are going to connect it to the chest line just as shown now we'll go ahead and cut please remember to remove the lower part of the material which will serve as the back okay now for easy joining i like to notch the important points that is the underbars nipple point in the chest area let's move to the back so i've marked out the lines at the back and from the center back we are going to mark one and a half inch as zipper allowance and i'm going to mark this throughout now because our back is not straight and it is kind of slanted we are going to take some few inches from the zipper allowance line just like this half an inch and i'm going to connect that to the chest line like this to have that kind of slanted thing all right so away from that new line then we'll start marking the one and a half zipper allowance okay Now all measurements will be marked along the new zipper line, okay? So on the chest line, you know we took off, we use five and a half. That's after all division and subtraction, if you can remember, all right? So this will not have any dot. If you want a dot, you can include a dot. So on the chest line, quarter of the bust plus two inches, on the waistline which is the half length quarter of the waist plus two inches for sewing allowance and we deduct half inch and put that on the under bus then we we'll go ahead and connect our points together now from the starting line we are going to connect like this okay now i'm going to fold in the zipper allowance but before that we'll take two inches from the back just to prevent zipper bulge or to prevent the zipper from folding at the back okay so then i'll go ahead and fold the center back which is the zipper allowance side like this and i'll take two inches from the starting line like this and then i'll connect it just as shown Right, so I'll go ahead and cut. So now I've been asked not to add lining to this dress, so I'm not going to do that. But if you want, you can cut a lining for it, okay? But also to prevent the front part, that's after stitching from fraying or from looking um awkward after wearing we are going to cut the same thing that's the front bodies we are going to cut the same thing to make it four so as to knitting them okay so here 
we will go ahead and join our fronts together so i'll open it up and i'll go ahead and join with the help of the notches then afterwards i'll stitch with half an inch allowance I repeat the same thing on all the parts then I'll go ahead and notch starting from the under bust upwards so I've gone ahead to put the front parts both of them together wrong sides inward okay then I'll go ahead and stitch round with quarter of an inch to keep them together so this is how it looks after stitching and we need to knit in the armhole so i'll cut a strap of about one and a half inches and fold them into two and then i'll place them around the armhole stitch with quarter of an inch this is on the right side you place it from the right side and you stitch and turn it to the wrong side okay so i'll go ahead and do that then i'll cut off the excess and notch then i'll go ahead and turn it to the wrong side and stitch again the next thing is to join both the front and the back together using our sewing allowance Now for the cape, you need your round shoulder or your off shoulder measurement. So I'm working with 41 and for the material, you, you need at least more than the shoulder, round shoulder measurement. Okay. So here I have more than that. I'm going to fold it into two like this. And from the lower part, I'll fold in like this. Okay. I'll divide the off shoulder or the round shoulder into two. I have 41 so divided by 2 is 20 and half and this I'm going to add half inch for sewing allowance so that is what I would use so now the length of this cape is going to be 4 inches and I'll add half inch as well for joining allowance that's to join the cape to the off shoulder okay So now I said I will add half inch to the 20 and half so this is 21 and I'm going to mark it along the line like this. So make sure you divide your round shoulder by 2 and add half inch to that measurement. So I'm going to square it up like this. Now you know at the end of the cape there is some there is a slanted part so away from the line you go in by 1 inch or 1 and half inch depending on what you want okay so i'm going to connect from here to the one inch line to have that slanted line at the back so then i'll go ahead and cut out and now i'll go ahead and notch the center of this keep So we need to join the zipper to the dress before we finally attach the cape. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. So this is how it looks. I join the pleated skirt to the upper part. And then now we'll go ahead and attach our cape. So on each end of the cape, I'll sew in the half an inch allowance we added and turn it inside out. So now with the center of the cape and with the center of the dress, now the dress, so I'm going to fold like this and notch the center as well. Okay, so I'll join them with a pin.
And now we need a strap to be able to knit in the raw edges after joining. So this is one and a half and we are going to fold it into two whilst working. Okay. So after pinning the front part, then the end of the cape will align with the end of the zipper or the center back like this. And then we pin the rest. So the left over here is where the arm will be. So now we'll go ahead and pick up the strap and we'll fold it into two equal parts like this. And this will start from the center back. Now we need to fold in a little like this to knitting the edge. Okay, so this will align. And then we'll just remove the pin and re-pin the cape and the strap to the off part of this dress so now I'm going to show you two ways you can attach the cape so this is the first one so you pin all the part to the end and then you make sure you fold in again at the other side of the cape to knitting the edge right so I'll go ahead and stitch round and for this method it is important to knitting round the shoulder after stitching then you fold in the strap like this and stitch on the strap okay so along the arm part you can decide to use a hemming gum to just iron along that side to stick it all right and for this method you can as well leave it because after the person wears the dress the cape part is going to be on the shoulder so there is no um need to really add the hemming gum but you can as well okay so the next method now is to make another cape let's assume this is a cape all right then you pick up the center just like the way we started first center of the cape to the center of the dress like this then you pin along then you go back to the back and start from the back to where the armhole ends at the back so this space is going to serve as the arm area so go ahead and notch that's the where the arm ends the armhole ends you notch it notch the other side as well just do this at one side of the cape uh -huh. then you remove the cape you remove the pin and from the center of the cape folding back the cape like this and then transfer the notch to the other side of the cape because we did this at only one side this will be easier okay so i'm going to mark where i notch like this then the next thing you do is to start stitching where the arm will be you start stitching half an inch to the next notch point i really hope you understand okay so what we are doing is to just knitting the arm part so this is it i've pinned it and the next thing is to turn it inside out so this is what we have so after notching you should have something like this after stitching you have to notch to the end then you should have something like this so here now is the arm part and it is neat okay 
I hope you really understand. Okay, so this side is neat. So to join to the dress, you pick up your strap like we did first. But this, you are going to do it on all the rough parts except the arm part, okay? So you start stitching with the strap like we did in the first method but you leave out the arm area because it is already knitting so let me show you what i mean so looking at it the arm part is knitting but i use the strap from the center back i used it at the center back like this then i excluded the arm area started from the center front again like this and then i left the other arm and also continued to the other center back okay so then you have knitting the arm area and all the parts okay so these are the two methods and i hope you've learned something from this video don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you in my next one